What's going on everybody? John Cena just returned on SmackDown Live on December 27, 2016 and it was very interesting. Uh, at one point the crowd was chanting CM Punk and he was like, are you guys chanting CM, are you guys chanting Cena sucks? I can't tell like, you know, <laughs> it was kind of funny. Like, uh, I thought that, uh, you know, I didn't think he was going to really respond like Stephanie did uh, last night on Raw, which I just skimmed over Twitter for, but I'm actually watching SmackDown because it's got championship matches on it, and it was pretty cool with John Cena's return. I thought it was awesome. I've uh, been a John Cena fan since day one, so, you know, I liked it back when he was doing the economics thing, and then, you know, as time went on, he evolved his character. He evolved himself into the man that he is with the hustle, loyalty, and respect. Never give up, never die attitude. You know, it's just like the hat. I ain't dead yet, motherfuckers. So, you know what I mean? It's John Cena, and he's back, and he challenges the winner of the Triple Threat Championship match tonight. Whoever wins between uh, AJ Styles, Adolph Ziggler, Baron Corbin, he challenges them to a championship match at the Royal Rumble. He wants to be the contender going to the Rumble. to be the, He declared, declared himself the number one contender going to the Royal Rumble to face whomever the champion is. Will it be a rematch versus AJ Styles? Will Baron Corbin become the become a first-time WWE champion, or will Adolph Ziggler capture another championship? I um, really don't want to see Dolph Ziggler again. Uh, be a champion like I like Ziggler, but I just I don't want to see him champion. I like AJ Styles as a champion. That's pretty awesome. I like AJ Styles a lot, but it'd be pretty sick and awesome if Baron Corbin actually was the man to go against John Cena to Rumble. It would be a huge shock and surprise. Uh, I think it would shock wrestling uh, to the wrestling world to its foundation if Baron Corbin wins tonight. But most likely it's gonna be AJ Styles. But it was pretty awesome seeing John Cena declare himself as the number one contender for the WWE Championship at the Royal Rumble for 2017. And I thought it was awesome. I'm looking forward to seeing who wins tonight and who John Cena will face at the Royal Rumble for the WWE Championship. Who will be the champion going into the Rumble and who is going to walk out with it. It's, you know, tonight is a really interesting, uh, you know, it's the last SmackDown of the year and whatnot, so it's going to be pretty awesome. You know, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Did you like it that John Cena returned? Did you like it that John Cena declared himself the number one contender to the WWE Championship uh, for the Royal Rumble? Or did you not like it? Do you, are you like, oh, I'm no, I'm no, I'm no, I'm no, I'm no. or are you like, oh yeah, that's awesome, John Cena? Once again, he's gonna ride on into the Rumble. You know, that's so I'm really looking forward to it. And uh, he put the world on notice, telling them that he is not a, he is not done. He, you know, he ain't nowhere near being done yet. And I thought that was awesome. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and leave me a comment down below with your thoughts and opinions. And make sure to punch that subscribe button into submission. And if the video up here looks interesting, watch the video up there. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Looking forward to seeing who wins what title, who walks out as champions tonight of SmackDown Live.